My name is Laston. I'm currently staffing here at Bureau Training Center where we are discipling people to say yes to God and also to take on the adventure of faith. I want to tell you a bit of my story and how I came to this place. I grew up with a single mama um, in Kasama. My granddad was a witch doctor and my mom was a Christian. Uh, obviously, that brought about tension among the, the families. One day, my mom invited me to go with her to church. And uh, because I loved my mom so much, I obeyed and went to, with her to church. And when I heard the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, I decided to give my life to Jesus that moment. And when I came back home, I told my grandfather, I'm not taking these things anymore because now I am a child of God. You see, um, all my life, my grandfather had been teaching and training me to take over from him when he had died. So this made it so difficult for me to turn my back on him and it led to me having to move away with my mom. Life was really challenging as my mom got sick when I was still very young. It was not really well known what was wrong with her, her body, but she couldn't walk most of the time and uh, I could just move her in and out of the house. And that was a life that we lived. Um, going into school was really hard for me because I didn't have someone to pay for my school fees. I didn't have anyone to support me. I was doing my seventh grade and I have to, to start looking for jobs to do at that tender age for us to survive, to put food on the table. So the only means I could do being a child was to, to go in the market and sell some vegetables, some tomatoes, and also just do some gardening for my teachers uh, at school and at, at their places just to pay for our house renters. We lived in the very small house, uh, two rooms house, just a sitting room and a bedroom where we were living and it was really hard for us to survive at that stage. But one thing that she always encouraged me was to hang on unto the God that I found and the God that she introduced me to. I would go to school, no school fees, so most of the times I was sent home. My head teacher had to pay for my exam fees and uh, when he paid for me, uh, I never knew how I was going to pass because I was not in school. I had to teach myself everything and relied on my friends to lend me their books and tell me about what they had learned in school. God did it for me. I, I found myself on, among the top 10 who had passed in that school. And uh, my name was listed on top. <laughs> and when the, one of the teachers saw that my name was there, she took my paper and went and cleared and helped me to get my results so that I can go and get uh, to secondary school. Living this life was hard and um, secondary school was just the same, um, but I managed to put through secondary school. I started taking my mom to different hospitals, private hospitals, just to help so that at least she can get better. But a few years later, tragic struck. I was involved in a terrible road accident and I broke my heart. I was paralyzed for a month and two weeks. Um, my hands were broken and uh, see my left hand, uh, even now it doesn't work properly. Um, it was hard for us and uh, we used all our savings because now I was not working. Um, two months later, after I was discharged from the hospital, whilst I was still nursing my wounds, uh, my mom died and this really broke me. I was deeply depressed. My life was almost like a mess. I couldn't sleep most of the time. I would literally sit the whole night without doing anything. But by the grace of God, I managed to, to get up. He picked me up again, comforted me, and uh, I managed to go to college, went through college, and uh, I, I still had the passion for missions. I knew that this is what God had called me for. And I always wanted to, to learn more about how I can serve God, how I can know Him deeper, intimately, and also share Him with other people. So when I heard about Beulah, I was so much excited. And uh, I came to Beulah, I did my discipleship training at Beulah for five and a half months, 
and we went for outreach and that experience it brought back the, the dream and the desire that God had put in me and so when we were done I felt God was calling me to come and save at Beulah and so we are reaching out to young people churches and also our communities out there with the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and this is why I, I, I want to ask you you can partner with us uh, to spread this news out there a lot of young people are struggling like the way I struggle and they don't have anywhere to look to they don't have anyone to help them most of them they have lost hope but without the gospel it will be hard for them to pull through their option will be maybe committing suicide or going to drugs and beer drinking and all the other bad behaviors that they can to find comfort so you can stand with us by praying for us and, and also supporting us financially to spread the good news to the lost.